This is a little bit a silly video about how to test an unknown MOSFET or hex fat. I have here uh, three MOSFETs on one uh, heatsink and I don't know what's the gate and what's the drain and what's the source. Uh, but there are some fundamentals that uh, we all know when you work in electronics. There must be a gate somewhere. So the gate is always the steering electrode. Here all kinds of events happen and it has an effect on the current that flows from the drain to the source. It doesn't matter how the current flows. Uh, in this way or in this way it doesn't matter. Here is always the gate and uh, the gate is sensitive to voltages and that's one of the properties from the MOSFET. The gate acts on voltages, not on current but on a changing voltage. When voltage is applied to the gate here the current starts to flow. So we have here um, a few unknown MOSFETs. I don't know where the gate is, etc. And I've connected a lamp here, bicycle lamp, more or less randomly. Uh, I connected first uh, here and then here to the minus, here to the minus, etc. etc. And finally I found that when I connected it to this electrode here and then to the minus, I had a working circuit. So uh, that's what I mean with silly. Uh, do some random experiments to uh, connect a load, here a bicycle lamp, in some lead and when the uh, lamp lights up you know that current flows. So my first demonstration is make your fingers wet and touch something that perhaps is the gate. This is almost sure the gate because when I touch it with, a, with, it with a wet finger the lamp lights up. And when I um, connect it with one, one wet finger here to the gate and one wet finger here to the minus, the lamp will uh, stop. I hope I can demonstrate it now without the camera. hope it's visible. Two fingers, here's a finger and now to that gate to the neck to make it negative. And when we are lucky, we can see that the lamp stops. Doesn't light up. So the, the current is pinched off. Now I connect that same gate that I found more or less experimentally to the positive lead. So I move one finger here again. The lamp lights up. But this doesn't mean everything because we can see the capacitive effect on the gate. When I touch it with my finger it sometimes lights up and it sometimes doesn't light up. That has all to do with the properties from the MOSFET. It has a capacitive uh, reaction on its gate. So again I put now one finger here to the gate, one finger to the positive lead and we can see that it lights up. But not always very bright. So something to study. When I use a resistor here inside of my body, perhaps it will light up properly. And uh, that's a challenge in these circuits and this simple way of testing. So I think it must be an, an N MOSFET, negative MOSFET, 
it needs a positive voltage on its gate to uh, get a driving current between the drain and the source and um, well that's one way to find out an unknown MOSFET and the approach is that it completely um, relies on the physical properties from the MOSFET so do experiments try and test trial and error and it's possible to find out the leads from an unknown MOSFET by this way where you know uh, which potential you have to apply to which electrode.